The online photography community is really a wonderful place, but like most online communities, it contains its share of toxic, vile losers. Recently saw in a Canon Facebook group, for instance, a post where a gentleman asked a question about lenses and clearly English was not his first language. It was easy to figure out what this dude meant and also that he was doing his best writing in a language that was not his primary one and doing a great job at it as well, but that did not stop an army of idiots from heaping nasty and insulting comments at him because he had the nerve to ask a question. I could go on and on discussing the photography comment sections from various platforms, but instead I want to offer you three simple tips for dealing with toxic photographers online because if you are a creator or want to be one, or even if you just want to post some images, in an online gallery, these tips are for you. Tip number one, when a nasty comment arrives, the first thing to do is remember that the person giving the comment probably doesn't have any of their own work posted online. Chances are you won't be able to find anything at all about the supposed expert who is criticizing you. But in the event that you do find any of their work, I can guarantee you that it will be such Mickey Mouse snapshot garbage that you will laugh out loud for even caring for one second what this person thinks of you. This is because those of us who are working hard at honing our craft know how difficult it actually is. So when we see someone else posting their best work or making their best video, we approach them with grace and encouragement because we've been there too. But the troll who is too incompetent or afraid to do anything other than criticize becomes bitter and angry at others who are actually trying to create something of value. And this bitterness and jealousy is expressed in the comments sections of various photography websites. Tip number two, there are basically two kinds of toxic photographers that troll around online. First, you have the bitter old failure of a photographer who is mad at the world because no one wants his ratty Sears portrait studio pictures anymore and instead of trying to learn and grow, he decides to become bitter and angry and take it out on anyone who is attempting to make great photos or grow as an artist or business person. The second kind of toxic online photographer is the basement dwelling incel who hates not only his own life, but also the lives of those around him because he's angry at the world due to his lack of talent and micro penis. When he's not playing World of Warcraft 19 hours a day, he's posting nasty angry comments because this is the only way he can get a little dopamine hit at this point and feel like he has some kind of use in life. See. When you realize who's trolling you, it will put the pedantic, angry comments into perspective. And again, you're going to laugh for caring at all what these people say about you or your work. Tip number three, kill them with kindness and don't respond defensively or negatively. Here's why. That's exactly what they want you to do. And if you respond, they will immediately suck you into their vortex of stupid asinine comments. You will waste an entire day arguing back and forth with some 40 year old basement dwelling virgin instead of living your excellent life and doing something productive. Remember the wise words of Admiral Akbar: It's a trap. So above all else, don't give them the satisfaction of a reply or even a middle finger emoji. That's exactly what they want you to do. And to those of you who are creating or want to be creators, keep on trucking because you will find that most of the actual photographers online are going to be very supportive and helpful to you on your journey. I know that I will.